This is a vintage cutaway representation of a steam engine. And uh, certainly is representing a locomotive steam engine. <laughs> it could be really a stationary steam engine too, or a marine steam engine. But this is a learning tool, a demonstration model made by the Not App and Company of Boston, Massachusetts. I don't know how old it is, but Something tells me it's pretty old. Um, it works smoothly and and does a good job of showing just how the guts of a steam engine work. You've got the wheel, or the could be a flywheel, a connecting rod going to a crosshead. So this is the connecting rod pivots on the crosshead, but not on the piston, which was typical of steam engines. And the crosshead slides nicely and then the piston is double acting so when it comes down here the valve opens like so so this steam would be coming in through here and down here and it pushes the piston that way meanwhile this valve is open to allow steam to exhaust it gets all the way over here and this valve opens to the um, intake pushes the piston this way while this exhaust valve is open and the cycle completes back and forth. There's a lever here, so which is called Stevenson reverse linkage, and it basically reverses the valve timing. The middle portion is kind of no valve timing, the steam engine wouldn't run, but back and forth. I'll show you what this side looks like. And again, the linkage is interesting on these old engines. Um, you've got two arms coming to this crescent-shaped mechanism here. And you can sort of see what it basically does is trade working off this arm, which it would be right now. And then when you want a reverse direction, it's essentially working off this arm and they each have their own camshaft. So the timing changes, but it can be done on the fly and very smoothly with all of this mechanism. This is Stevenson reverse linkage. And there you have it, a cutaway model of a locomo locomobile steam engine. Would have been a very popular technology item a long time ago. Now it's just a curiosity.